Right, I has not planned this. Strangely. I has beer. <laughs> oh, but you fuck off with your... Good God. Stupid laptop. Right, um... I sent a letter out last weekend. I think it was last weekend. You know I don't like reading these, but they never fucking reply. They're wankers. It was sent to a few. Certainly sent to three. Not sure who else I sent it to. Um, hey guys, not answering my letters then. I mean, I'm getting a bit tired of endlessly proving your corrupt bastards on YouTube, really. The courts allow council employees to masquerade as judges and magistrates. So I'll put it in very small type. Um, actually, I'll just enlarge it. Yes, I can do that. Can I do that? There you go. The coppers allow the council to blatantly steal taxpayers' cash and steal from the public with unlawful trading licences and God knows what else. And the council just do as they fucking please, really. <laughs> this is going back. If you watch the very first video I did, um, a very corrupt chief constable. John Major MP and former Prime Minister orchestrated 25 years of theft in the public purse, um, which only finished in 2009, sometime after I'd pointed it out. Um, and now they, they, they never actually legalised uh, the entire trading licence charge according to their statute law. So they're actually still stealing taxpayers' money from hot food vendors apparently they're allowed to get away with that um right so all above the law are you or did i miss something you're breaking every law known to man and ignoring all lawful procedure because you thought you'd get away with it but three question marks there damn i was upset uh, because you're Whitehall Freemason masters say you can, or because you just think you should be able to. I mean, do tell as to why you think you're completely unaccountable to the general public at some point, won't you? My God, they're all fucking lunatics. They're all lunatics. They're all fucking insane. They're all complete. Well, it takes one to know one, I suppose. Eh... Uh, and where's Joanne Lancaster these days, eh? For £117,000 a year, she doesn't say much. Not to mention the Chief Constable's been a bit quiet since he took over. He has! Right. Actually, this video isn't just about the letter. Um, there's been nothing from the Chief Constable whatsoever in the papers at all since he sort of almost took over. He was on that point of taking over. And he got here and he was like... Well, I want to speak to my officers to see if they're upset and stuff and see what kind of stress they're dealing with. Fuck off. Right? I, uh, my God. Um, he'd been a bit quiet since he took over another £100,000 a year for subtle service, presumably. I was getting really carried away here. Um, Ian Davis has gone a bit quiet since being exposed as a liar and a thief. This is Ian Davis who sits in the council hearings, the council tax hearings. I, I think he pretends he's a judge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one it is because, of course, none of them are accountable or or identifiable. Um, as has the CPS. I mean, I'd be quite happy if the bunch of law-breaking pieces of shit never did speak to me again. But then there was the slight issue of being able to offer a legal defence in court now, wasn't there? 
CPS, yes. I was never allowed a legal defence in court. This is the dictatorship. They shall not disobey the council. Well, where are you now, guys? No council tax. No bill is breaking down the door. As they could do, apparently. My vicious fucking assault charge when PC Dean the Fat Poof walked into my hallway without in fucking invitation invitation <laughs> yeah yeah invitation 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 and i proceeded to quite legally defend myself because he's a law-breaking piece of fucking shit and then i was up an assault charge because i pushed him i pushed him i creased his bulletproof vest so I was up in assault charge. No, you never actioned that one either, guys. Because uh, you knew you were breaking the fucking law. Because you're a bunch of Nazi fuckface vile fucking wankers. Which, of course, I'm getting onto it now. Which, of course, I was never allowed in two years of court hearings. Be they council, tax, or any other charge. This really is small type, guys, so I'm really struggling. Um, the IOPC admitted the police manufactured evidence and PSD admitted I was unlawfully arrested. Yeah, the IOPC said they create, they create your recordings. They create the video recordings of the interviews. They get sent to a special department where they create. <laughs> Talk about your manufacturing fucking evidence. Jesus. PSD. Uh, Inspector Paul Rogerson said I should have known I was being arrested because I got in the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present. Funnily enough, I'd not had much experience of being arrested before I met Cambridge Police, so I didn't know that getting in the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present meant I was under arrest when they didn't actually say I was under arrest or anything like that, you know. There was no reading of the fucking rights. No, no. Dictatorship. Z Kyle. Council, police. Fuck! I bet all the officers involved get promotions and pay rises, eh? An award for acting in an utterly corrupt manner and keeping up. No, nope, helping to cover it up. Seriously, who the fuck are you people? I tell you what, which I put in capital letters, you are. Nazi dictators who don't give a fuck about the law unless it suits you. Scum, pure scum. There we go. Hammer back. I shall watch this back in a minute. Um, they would have got that Wednesday, I would think. Email addresses on there. No emails. I did get a Christmas card today from, from one of the family, which I think um, is possibly the first post, first proper post I've had in about three weeks. Not sure. I'll see you all there.